Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to start another vlog. I'm catching you all at the beginning of the week. It's currently Monday, I think it's January 22nd, and we just finished a really productive day of shooting a bunch of content. So if you want more details on all the outfits that we shot today, they are on my Instagram for my reels. Um, so we just finished up. We did a Valentine's Day reel, all from Amazon. We did playful patterns. We did a lot of really like bright and colorful sweaters for a little winter refresh and then we also did um, like a Veronica Beard workwear reel so I'm actually wearing a set from Amazon that I decided I'm gonna keep this was in one of the reels the Valentine's Day one it's from Amazon so cute it's like this velour material and it has a little puff sleeve I also love this pale pink and then it comes with joggers I mean how cute to wear around the house I even thought for travel this would be perfect and then I have on this really cute new heart necklace, which is from Anthropology. I've been wearing it nonstop. And then my Emily Elbow's earrings. And I have a bunch of jewelry. This is a new bangle from Hermes that I got for Christmas. And it's just like the perfect everyday piece. So I'm currently in Claire's room, which if you're new here, is kind of where we keep all of the new clothes and we hang stuff up. It's like the styling room. It's just really nice to have the space. So it's a little messy, but we kind of have our piles. I get a little bald spot. It's not a bald spot, but it's like... I've never noticed that before. grabbing a little coffee. The last time I talked to you was when I was cleaning up my closet last night. It's now Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, yesterday, Tuesday. And we've had such a wonderful day. It was another shooting day, shooting day part two. And then we just had such an amazing meeting, which I can't wait to tell you guys more about, but we're running some errands. So we're gonna go get some coffee and continue this vlog. trying so focus in this lifetime okay we're trying this new coffee shop which is so cute I just got a little iced coffee with oat milk I'm here with Elizabeth and mom and yeah this opened up kind of near our house it was like a fun little excursion after Laura came today which was such a good meeting so we're gonna have a little afternoon pick me up and kind of keep discussing everything that happened today and then go from there but happy Wednesday we have to also return that other book which one? I got from mom. Oh yeah. Hey. We really did this the worst possible way, but it's great. Excuse me, because no one is in line. We are getting a little out. Can I get started, please? Hi, I've said two medium iced black coffees with no sweetener and a splash of oat milk. I like mine more than a splash. <laughs> President of the club would be difficult. <laughs> okay, sure. Please pull ahead. Oh, oh I will. It's a very lovely drive through. Yeah. We figured we would get our afternoon coffee and do a little car catch up because we haven't done one of these in so long. I'm getting so many questions. So I'm doing a Q and A on my Instagram where I'm answering questions on my stories. And then I figured since it's just all wrapped up in the same day, we would answer a few on my YouTube channel as well. And I'm, I'm only getting the same question over and over again. Favorite family tradition? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh. It's this question. Are you still dating the boy who bought you a birthday gift? Yeah, that was meant kind of as an inside <laughs> thought. Well, you were being really weird. It's this question. <laughs> my so my network questions. isn't working, so I can't get the dunk. Oh, listen, look how many questions. Look. Oh, that was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot, though. Oh, any fun travel plans coming up? That was another big question. I know, we don't seem to be moving forward and it's kind of drizzling. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> or Where are your exams? You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> any fun travel plans coming up? Yes. Queen. While well, Elizabeth is taking, who is that? Queen. Oh, Kelly Rutherford. While well, Elizabeth's taking care of some business, we are going to New York Fashion Week in a few weeks, right before Valentine's Day. So it's the weekend of like February 10th. I think we're going on the 9th, 8th, 8th. We're going on the 8th. 
which is a Thursday. Okay, we're gonna answer just a couple questions. Not too many. Okay. Let me pull it up. <laughs> Give us a little. <laughs> okay, so back to the previous question before we got our coffee also. Iced coffee with oat milk. Cheers to the Cheers. afternoon. Ow. Yep. <laughs> Where any fun travel plans coming up? As I was saying, we're going to Fashion Week. I have an event for sure as of today on Thursday the 8th, and then I have something on Saturday, but there's other things in the works, and you're going to join us. Yeah. Uh, Valentine's Day plans. What are you doing? Um, well, I'll be alone. I mean, we I'm are kidding. having a um, Valentine's Day party. With your sorority or just like with your friends? With my friends. That's so fun. Where does Bitsy plan to move after college? Back home. To Cleveland. <laughs> to live in my home. You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. To live, in, to my live in my home. With my, my family and my home. my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and my stuffed animals. Next yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, will you ever hire someone else for the team? Well, we have Laura which she's been working like in person once a week since August. No, Elizabeth actually like since being home on break has been helping me a lot. <laughs> you're being funny. Um, she was, she's been running the Bose and Company Instagram, which I feel like you're gonna keep doing when you go back to school. Yeah, it's so simple. It's just yeah. me. You should put this on the Bose and Company Instagram. They Smile did it. for the, to the video. Excuse us. Oh. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> Excuse me. That's why we have editing technique. Um, what's gonna happen to your old house once the new one is ready? I guess I hadn't clarified this because it was coming in a lot during the Q&A and I shared it on Instagram, but Claire and Connor will be moving into my parents' house. Sophia Richie's pregnant. I knew it. Somebody I called knew it. it on TikTok. I knew it. Oh my okay. gosh. No, listen to this. Whoa. So somebody on TikTok was like, Sophia Richie's pregnant. Yeah. So I pulled up pictures and I showed mom and mom was like, she has pregnancy face. Yeah, all the women, all the moms were like, oh, we can tell that you're pregnant. Yes. I mean, she's like really far along. Well, in the picture, she looks far along. She's wearing all of those long like, coats. Can I, see a can I see it? Whoa. I'm shocked. I'm not. It's It was obvious. No, I saw that TikTok a few days ago, but I was like, there's no way it's Should true. I repost this? Why would you repost it? Because I love her. Okay. <laughs> That's actually huge. Advice for newer content creators. You know what? I think this is a really great question because during like I feel like 2024 is a totally different ball game for social media than mm. you know one day you can wake up and your whole life can change and you can go viral and then the next day whoa or that's a crazy ball game yeah <laughs> whoa <laughs> what team are we there playing? are no nine innings that's for sure um but then like for me I feel like it's definitely a slow and steady progression yeah. what, what yeah. is your advice for new content creators my advice is same advice I give you is to just bit by bit post every day be consistent yeah and something will probably happen. <laughs> probably. But if it doesn't, I, like, that's on you. How to get over first date nerves. Oh, that's a good question. Don't go on one. <laughs> You'll never be nervous if you never go. Uh, probably um, scream. That's usually what I do. <laughs> oh I'm not kidding. No, these are actually good tips. That's usually what I do. I, The last first date I went on was last year. Uh, my first... My most recent first date was in October, and for that particular date, I was not nervous. That's, I was really excited really about oh, it. Hmm, I've never had that feeling. Uh, <laughs> I've never been excited for these. Um, hmm. But in the past, I have been very nervous, and I think that I just, you gotta just push through the nerves. Well, that also shows that it's like not, that's not good if you're nervous. I was excited, and then he made me like not nervous. Like I was nervous, jittery, excited in the beginning, if uh, you're not anxious in a bad way, yeah, but like, anxious in a good way, I think it's yeah. totally normal, and I think that it's fun to have a date. So like, yeah, let yourself be nervous, or or cancel, <laughs> or cancel. That's always a good way out. Um, the, so the last first day I went on was last spring semester, so it was almost a full year ago. No, last fall semester, it was wait, more wait, than a year ago. Wait, wait. So it was like a year and a half ago that I went. Ooh. I went to church. I don't even think he that, picked me up. I don't even think that counts. No, it actually did. It was like actually a date. He said, it was. I take you on a date. Were you nervous? I was screaming with Minnie because okay. I didn't want to go. <laughs> I didn't oh. want to go. We're getting I so shouldn't many, have gone. So many, <laughs> I shouldn't have gone. Emotion. I shouldn't have gone. It's because okay. I mean, but dating, I think the other thing we all have to remember freak. is dating practice. Like, you have to go on these dates, you have to experience different for different kinds of dates. You know what I cannot get behind is a workout date. <gasps> 
No. I was talking when I was in Charleston to one of the girls, Phoebe, and she said that it's like a huge thing in Charleston. Yeah, Everyone I've been seeing on that days. on my TikToks. Um, yeah, we went to hot yoga and like this girl was freaking out because she didn't want to. But um, uh, that is my my worst date. Or a me second date. Out. Why is it the first date? I it should be honestly like once you're married, then you can work out together. I, I kind of agree with you. Or you know, like dating when you're comfortable. What? One of the girls in Charleston said that she was went to the first date and it was like a walk and maybe to get coffee. And she a walk showed. is fine. That's totally different. That's not what we're talking about. Not like a hot Pilates class. Yeah. Um, and he was like five four. To go on the, like he lied about they they met on a dating no. app and he lied about his height and she's like I'm not that tall she's probably like five eight five seven oh my god and he was like literally five four she said and I had she said I had to go on a walk with this man and he was like next to me but like I'm looking down That's at him a isn't for that her. terrible That's in a that case for her. the date should turn into a run and you should just start <laughs> running a chase <laughs> um I have been on dates <laughs> I have been on a first date but it it was technically a first date but it was like my fifth date with that person <laughs> do you know what i'm talking about no, no, no. like oh. i was it was the first date of that year like uh -huh. with that person because there have been okay okay this is what happened i've got all day <laughs> literally we you do. do we actually want to understand so it was this like it makes no sense we, t we went on a date when we first talked Two, three years ago. I don't even know. So, like, that was the first date. Then we didn't talk for a while. And then we restarted talking, so he took me out on another first date. Would you consider that a first date? <laughs> <laughs> or is that a second date? Yeah, that's just another date. Okay. Even though you restarted? But you were never officially together to then have to break up to then restart for it to constitute as a second date. So it was a first date. Hi. <laughs> so I've been on two first That's dates. Not a thing. You just went on another date. Your first date is your first date. I went on another date with that person. That would be like saying the second date that I went on was my second first date. Second first date. Okay. That's you making a situation on dating in college is so hard. That's it's why just, I just doesn't don't happen. Don't do it. Are you and your sisters each getting to design your new rooms in the new house? We all have a say. Yes. I would say we have, yeah. We're not designing it, but we are picking stuff out. The designer has a general idea for each room. She's so good that I'm like, you just design it, you know? I'm like, you do Well, she is designing it. She is designing it, but like, I'm not gonna- Like, we can pick out our bedding, we can Yeah, pick like out if our I bed, wanted like... to say, oh, I, I would want my room to be this color, then they would probably yeah. do it, but I don't really, I don't really want to care. Like, I feel like whatever she's going to come up with is yeah. just going to be absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, so we're going to head back as Alyssa needs to finish packing, but we're both in our Busy Bunching sweatshirts, which are available to shop on my website, emilyonboats.com. I have the navy. Elizabeth obviously is wearing the white. She's wearing a large. I'm wearing a, large. I'm wearing a really small. Like so kind of like an oversized fit. Yeah. I love layering a turtleneck underneath it, but available in both colors on our website. Great for the winter. Great for college girls, post-grad, casual looks. Everyone. All the above moms, <laughs> everyone. everyone, literally. Guys. Boys wear yeah, the hats yeah. too. So that, whoa, excuse me, it was the coffee. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, on that note, we're gonna go back home and we will talk to you later tonight. Okay, hello girls. I wanted to pop in at the end of this vlog for a little YouTube catch up. Every time I go to film, my mom and I were just talking about this, we feel like it's been dark outside for days and we really haven't had a sunny day here in the Midwest. So I feel like it always looks like it's night, but today was kind of gloomy. Um, it's currently Monday, and my mom and I just had a wonderful day of filming, sharing a lot of upcoming outfits for reels over on my Instagram. So if you need workwear inspiration, what else do we do today? We did these really pretty embellished sweaters from Nordstrom, kind of like that in-between look where you might be going out to dinner, but you're not going like out out, but you're not going to work. You know, one of those things. Um, I'm actually in one of the new sweaters from Nordstrom. It's like this really pretty olive green lady jacket. I'm drinking some green tea. My mom's making dinner. Um, these mugs are from Amazon. So it's just the two of us tonight. My dad has a work event and Elizabeth went back to school, which is obviously devastating on so many different levels. <laughs> um, we talked about this a lot on the podcast, but if you're new here, Elizabeth goes to Miami University and they have a really long winter break. It's called J-Term. So it's basically like, I think it's four weeks longer than a typical winter break because 
students can take an extra class, kind of like a May term, or they go abroad. Um, so Elizabeth was home for all of January, and she honestly helped me so much with Emily Ellen Bowes while she was home. So I was obviously like on a sister level so sad to have her go back because she is just like my little partner in crime, but also she was like such an asset, especially on the days where Laura would come over, we would all work together. So um, she's actually running the Bowes and Company Instagram and she has been posting a lot of really cute things. So she has really hard classes this semester, so wishing her the best. Um, but, like I said, great day of filming. Kind of wanted to just wrap this vlog up. Do you want to come say hi, Mom? They would love to, to see hi. you. Um, I was I just would. saying to them how I feel like every time we go to film, oh. it's like pitch oh black out. And it's, here, sit down. Pitch black. Pitch black. Starting at maybe, I don't know, 2 It PM? feels like 2 p.m. When yeah. we, we're like, okay, we're booted up. Hair, makeup. We style the outfits. And then it's like, this looks like it's 7 p.m. And you really don't like to use a ring light. Well, see, changes. I put a light on right now. It's different, though, on YouTube when mm -hmm. you have, like, a light versus, mm -hmm. um... So, yeah, mm -hmm. we're just kind of hanging out, the two of us. It's a lot quieter in the house now that Elizabeth is gone. It is, it's really but sad. it's very sad, and she's happy back at school, which yeah. is so good. Of course. But we had a great day of filming. We had some rack issues. <laughs> Guys, so we have this... Oh, my Where gosh. is that rack from? It's just Amazon yeah, or like a Target, Target or something. And I think it fell over or fell yeah. apart three times today. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just mm -hmm. like crashing, blazers, hangers. Mm -mm. And you've been really busy with the house. So you had like your house meeting, you had physical therapy. Um, we feel like little hamsters running around in circles. Well, and it's all fun projects. Oh my gosh, it's the most fun. We also have a new line coming. Yes, actually moments prior to this, we just <laughs> got an order and we were jumping Dancing. up and down, screaming, singing, because mm -hmm. one of the products came in and it's so good. It's, it's charming. I almost want to give them a sneak peek on here to get people excited. Should we? I mean, why not? Why not? I'll go get it. <laughs> why don't you go it. get it? Um, so I'll give you guys a little hint. Well, I'll just show you because I feel like it's a different audience over on YouTube And I do want to get people excited about this. You can do the honors because you designed this and sourced it. Okay We're showing it here like first. I, I think it's okay. People do this sometimes like an early. I like it. We're showing it product. Okay. It's a, it's a scarf. It's a silk scarf. It's better it's than beyond. we could have even imagined. It's a black and white floral pattern. So this is an original design that mm -hmm. our graphic designer came up with. This was in a previous line in pink. It was from our bouquet line. And so it has my bow logo and then this gorgeous floral pattern. That we, in, yes. In black. If you had any bouquet items. Yes. And you had the pink and white. We just enlarged it because we're in love with this pattern. I can't stop looking at it. And, I'm just so happy that it turned then, out so well. Yeah. You did a great job finding this, Mom, and it is designing it. And we've been wearing, I mean, silk scarves have been around forever. Yes, but we recently just, you. so you purchased, you, you gave us all Hermes scarves for Christmas, yeah, so we can't I stop mean, wearing them. Yeah, show them how we could you do this. It's so cute. I, I'm I'm busting that kind we just like, got to or show even someone. Just, if you just wear like, it. Well, yeah, you can do that. And then I love just, if you have the right thing on, oh like gosh. with a black blazer. And I think this is going to be so cool um, going into spring. So cool going into spring. If you have one of those scarf rings, I, I can't. I'm out the of the The other mind. thing about this scarf is, yeah. obviously, what? you know, Hermes scarves are gorgeous. But let's be real. They are outrageous. We wanted to make these silk scarves, like, affordable, approachable. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Stop. And you're going to have to, if you haven't seen Emily's reel, you did a really cute one on scarf tie. different ways to tie a scarf. But look, look at this. You're being a great model. Oh my gosh. I, you could put it on your purse. You could tie it on the handle oh, of your bag. I, well, we thought of all those things and now I'm, I, I, I just love it. We were going it. bananas. We were jumping up and down. And black and white goes with everything. Oh my gosh, so classic. And no one else is going to have this because we came up with the design ourselves. It's an original design. It's an original design. And it has just the bow sprinkled in and there. you know what else I like about it? You can tell as I'm playing with it. Feel how it is silk. And wow, it's very I felt soft. It it's, it's very just so soft. Mm -hmm. Ladies, this I think this might be one of our best products ever. I'm really do you excited. Want to say such a statement because I do. Oh, I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is, and I'm really excited that we just told our YouTube, your YouTube. I mean, it can't hurt. About um, it. And there, it's going to be released right now. We we are thinking February 13th. Yeah, we're thinking February 13th. I'll start releasing hard dates on Instagram, and I'll tell you. But you just got the first look at one of the products.
We're so excited your face is just holding the product. So mm -hmm. that was a little update. That, that really perked up our afternoon. But it did. Today's Monday. We're getting really back into the swing of things. We had a really fun weekend. Um, and yeah. I'm going to go finish making dinner. Yeah, we're going to finish making dinner. Thanks and for I letting me join you. Oh my gosh, thanks for coming. They yeah. wanted to hear from you. I'm so happy you were, <laughs> you were here to say hi. But right, see you later. Okay, <laughs> she's going to go finish dinner. Um, but I just wanted to end off this vlog. It was kind of a random compilation of clips. That's kind of what made up this week. But just focusing on Emily Ombos, having a really great routine here at home for the winter time. We're gearing up for fashion week in two weeks, which is going to be so wonderful. And just really getting ready for this merchandise release, which we're very thrilled about. Um, so thank you all so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all next Tuesday for another vlog. Be sure to listen to the podcast, Bows and Company, if you want even more of us rambling. The YouTube, like you can watch it. I think it's the video before this. Um, if you prefer to watch podcasts or you can listen to the audio only. So that's all I have for you today, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.